started playing together this summer, right? Yeah, it was probably like the beginning of May or May. I found Blake Bondi for a while and he's been implemental and kind of helping the band grow. You wait, be right there by your side. I don't want to try to hide the love this, this was kind of started as a jam band, kind of to a degree of you get a kind of improv on the leads, you know, and kind of we kind of sh swap leads some of the time, and so it's kind of jammy that way, and uh, we, we kind of like to change it up too. I mean, we'll, somebody will grab the other person's attention, and, and all of a sudden we're kind of evolving into another part where you know sometimes maybe you don't do it the same every time yeah there have been sure, a lot of times there's been fun. a lot of really cool there's fun. it's fun there's been a lot of really cool art that's happened because like david and i will be on the same page and we'll just do something we won't say anything to each other yeah. we'll just musically get in kind of look over and or breathe a little bit all of a sudden we'll we'll be playing like something amazing together and it's cool because then and then we'll get done and we'll be like that was awesome <laughs> pick music and then we try to make it our own. It's not like we don't try to cover a band exactly how that band does their song. Don't you go away and put it off another day. I'm gonna talk you stop. Don't throw it all away. We're not even like a Rochester local band. We're a Southeast Minnesota local band. Lanesboro, St. Charles, Chatfield, Byron. Yeah. With what going out and a song that everybody knows the words for and they'll sing along to it and then you'll play we'll play an original and everybody feels like they should know the words <laughs> sing along we grow when we jam create we also you know, learn each other and uh the, we well. have the main thing is we all have a good time. Like, we, like there isn't, a, there, there's never been a night where I've gotten done and been like, Ugh. <laughs> I can't stand. There's it. a night when I start like that. I'm having like a long day, and by the end of the show, right? Yeah. But I just feel like relaxed. I feel music has that ability. Released, you know, to, yeah. Released, you know. and I think you know that that's the main thing. We we do use it as a release yeah. for, and know. hopefully it's that for the audience. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, oh, thank you. Well, I'm Dave Wilson, and I started Root River Jam about four years ago. Uh, it's always kind of been about improv a little bit, as well as writing and uh, releasing. And uh, my background was growing up I always wanted to play guitars and as soon as I could hold one I, I started playing guitar my brother older brother Chuck was a big influence on, on my guitar playing and uh, you know I wanted to play guitar because of him it was uh, singing through church my mom had us sing harmonies when we were in you know fourth and fifth grade we were singing in church I grew up uh, and started gigging in uh, rock bands out of high school and uh, kind of jammed it out but started writing more. I, I wrote some in high school but really started writing about 15 years ago and switched uh, to acoustic to do a lot of the writing. And so I've kind of maintained that acoustic approach as far as forming a band. And so Root River Jam kind of became the culmination of writing and uh, performing acoustic music, which uh, as far as improv, it's, it's really kind of specific and unique every time because it is an acoustic value and an ambience that uh, is really exciting and kind of percussive in a way. I like, you know, I like playing with musicians who can feel the, and you know, it's, innate in their 
their vision of music that they can follow along and kind of improv. So uh, David and Jerry are really good at that. I started playing piano and violin when I was three. I, I started writing my first sheet music at four. And at first I was just kind of curious about all the shapes and what they meant. And I remember the first good thing I wrote that was worth keeping was a lullaby for two violins. And um, picked up saxophone along the way. And um, yeah, I've just been playing music my whole life. Um, I compose. I just got done studying at uh, Berklee College of Music, studying music business. Um, so now I'm just looking to play and perform with Root River Jam as much as I can. Really excited for the upcoming album. Um, I don't know, my background in violin is kind of a mixture of classical and also like when I was growing up I'd play a lot of fiddle contests which are all over Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, they have those all over. And so I would do that and that was always fun because you'd go there and you'd see these old guys playing their fiddle like this. But they would kill it. They were amazing when I was a little kid. It was one of the coolest things to go see. So that's kind of my background as well, is growing up with that. I'm Jerry Spencer. Um, I grew up in Rochester here. I started playing bass, upright bass, when I was in fifth grade. Uh, my dad and my mom were big influences on my life. I mean, as far as music went, my dad had very eclectic tastes. I wanted to be in a symphony orchestra when I was in fifth grade, and they don't have symphony orchestra. Um, but that's what I put down on the piece of paper in fourth grade when you choose an instrument. And uh, when I showed up, they only had four instruments to pick from, and none of them were a trumpet, which is what I thought I wanted to play in a symphony orchestra. And uh, you had to rent a violin. I couldn't spell cello or viola, so I picked bass, and it's been kind of history ever since. Um, I was really influenced by my high school orchestra teacher, too, because I was kind of a acting out kid. It was sort of a troublemaker and she really stood by me and used music as a as a real uh, uh, outlet for me. So when I got into college, I didn't find out I could sing until I was in college and uh, was recruited by the choir director at our school to sing and play in their band. And then uh, along the way, I picked up, I play drums now and I play some guitar. Um, but most of my focus is bass and I play upright and I play electric and acoustic, so. Check us out, rootriverjam.com. Yeah, good, good, good hard plug for rootriverjam.com. Yeah, definitely sign up for the email. <laughs> yeah, following. email list, people on the email list are gonna actually get some Download free music. goodies. As free goodies. For free goodies, not uh, digital goodies as the album is recorded. So we've got that in the works. So if you want some free goodies, sign up to our email list at rootriverjam.com. We won't spam you. We promise not to send you any more than a hundred emails a day. A hundred emails a day is our soft one. I can't let it slip.